what in the hell is a digital detox? Can you explain this to All me? All right, well, I have a few ideas. I have a few ideas for you that I'm going to show you now. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. All right, so the first thing you can do for a digital detox is you can change your phone to grayscale. So what this does is it actually makes your phone less attractive and therefore less addictive. Really? Yes. Just by sheerly taking away the color. Yeah, well what's crazy is apps are specifically designed with these big bright colors to draw you to your phone, to get your attention. So if you change them to black and white, it actually keeps yeah. you less drawn into your phone. Wow, that's a good one. I know. I like that. All right, <laughs> keep it moving here. All right, so tip number two, uh, you can put your phone on do not disturb mode. So if you're with friends or family, or if you're somewhere that you can really kind of take a break from your phone, just switch it to do not disturb. And that way you don't get any of those annoying little like buzz buzz yeah, notifications. Yeah, because sometimes you don't want to use your phone, Sarah, but you get a text and you're like, I'm not listening to oh wait, I have to respond to this. Yeah, exactly. So you get pulled in, you get roped in. It's kind of, it's a mental thing. You yeah. hear those notification buzzes and you have to, you just have to check it. So even if, if you don't want to go fully on Do Not Disturb, you can also change your phone to just silent, uh, which is another great way to just at least not hear those notifications that are going to keep pulling you into your phone. Gotcha. And Felicia, no, you cannot put me <laughs> into silent mode. All right, <laughs> what do we have next? All right. So number three, and this is my final tip, is you can actually just set a reminder to be off of your phone. I know that sounds counterintuitive, but we <laughs> yeah, set- Using we, the phone to not yeah, use the phone, I, know. I like that. But I mean, we set reminders for ourselves for all kinds of things, so why not use a reminder to teach yourself to get off the phone? You can do it and make sure you put yourself off. You can have a reminder set for maybe 30 minutes or an hour, remind you to take that time, do something else, go get a coffee, take a walk, Read a book. I know those still exist. Yeah, right. right? There are actually there's libraries, <laughs> yeah. believe it or not. Everybody. I know. But let me ask you this: as somebody who runs a wildly successful social media account, Big Kid Problems, you probably have to detox more than anybody because you have to be on that phone creating really cool content all the time, right? I know, but that's why I like to kind of put my time into buckets. I mean, there are going to be times during the day that I have to be on, but with I'm with I'm if I'm with friends or family or doing something that I know I shouldn't really be on my phone. I will try and put it away, try and put it down, but I'll be honest, it's something I could be better at too. Okay, well there you go. Those are great tips right there for the digital detox, everybody. Great stuff, Sarah. I think we all need a good digital detox every <laughs> once in a while.